we're going to go through some Tai Chi walking, including waving hands in the cloud. So we're going to connect our lower body with our upper body to see how that stuff works out. Stepping consciously and moving our upper body consciously. Two separate movements simultaneously. So this is the feet movements that we're going to be doing. It's up in the knees. Step up. Place your heel down. Shift your body over to a 45 degree direction. Come back up. Turn your foot forwards in the direction that you're walking. And go into your toe. Same. Place your heel down. 45 degree direction. Come back up. Place your foot in the direction you're going and come onto your toe. And that's the action that we're following. Transferring our weight. Turning our foot in, placing our foot down, that goes from 90 to 100, and now we're about 100% on your left leg. Then you shift, place your heel down, you're about 90, and you shift forward, you're going into about 70, and, and you lift your your, your toes up, back onto your heel. Your rear leg shifts to about 90, 90%. Turn your foot in. And as you raise your rear leg, then you enter back into 100% weight. start to take up 90% to 100, now 100, same again, heel down, shifting the body weight, and then turn the foot inwards to the direction you're going, and then onto your toe. Okay, so the combination of the movement now, waving hands in the ground, just normal shoulder weight starts, knees soft, while waving hands in the cloud technique.
like that. Slowly raise your leg, stretch out your heel at 45 degrees, keep your knees soft. Still turning your body, place, shift your weight forward slowly, moving your arms and turning your arms slowly. Place on the front, place your foot down, when you're coming back, bring your left leg with you, turning at the spine and the waist, keeping the shoulders level with the head, when you get to about 45 degrees rotation, place your heel down, shift your weight forward, Come back. Place your foot down and continue turning. So right now, both feet are facing forward. After you've done this motion here, both feet are forward as you're turning, but the turning is taking place in your center. So here feels like it's opening, and here feels like it's closing. But as we lower our arms and transfer our consciousness and our weight back to our left leg and we're lifting up this leg here, all our weight goes onto this leg. Same again, slowly going 45 degrees forward and just stay there for a moment. Align your posture, ground and centre yourself. Be aware of 70% of your weight on your front leg, 30 on your rear leg. Shift your weight back, place your foot forward. Turn here as you're turning. This is remaining grounded and fixed. Oh, that's opening. So when you come back, Come back, bringing your leg with you. So be mindful because it's easy for you to concentrate too much on your feet to move the lose the rhythm with your hands and your upper body and it's easy to lose rhythm because you're focusing too much on your palm and then you forget what your feet are doing. It's to remain conscious at all times of each movement that you're making. Remain in your center, transferring your body weight.
about five minutes of that. Be mindful of your feet, the steps that you're taking, and the connection of the upper body. awareness now of how our feet are moving in coordination of our upper body so practice makes perfect that next step is up to you all you have to practice is this mindfulness of each step and how much weight you're transferring over shifting consciousness between 70 80 90 and 100 percent weight distribution being conscious that when we're placing our foot down and when we're turning and rotating, how we're opening our hips, making sure that our knees are not buckling and taking the pressure inside. Good luck on your practice. When you're at class, I'll give you our test to see how you're getting on. If you can practice that for five to 10 minutes, deep breathing, internal meditation. I think you'll find that your internal connection and alignment will improve tremendously.